there's just so much people in the world that are so foolish that they don't know any better and they don't understand that their actions and their words could truly affect other people from the things that they watch. You cannot bring be that lost, that ignorant, that clueless, that clueless to be that ignorant, that bold to think that these group of people are like this or this is their culture or they're exactly the same. I've covered this in many of my previous videos where I spoke about black, different black issues, um, past issues with Serena Williams. I, I brought up pieces of information, things that I've experienced as well growing up in black poverty. Growing up in black poverty areas almost all my life, when I was in Brooklyn, New York, I've experienced being robbed by other black people. I've experienced hate comments from other black people, ignorant comments, comments like, oh, you don't sound like you're from the hood. I've had cases where I was simply asking directions, even how the way I carry myself, I'm still judged because of the stereotypes. I already know majority of people in the world does not think this way, but a good amount of people does. And I could be wrong. And I understand everybody in the world is not the same. Everybody isn't because at the exact same time, we wouldn't have good. And at the same time, while we have good, we have evil in this society. Social media continues to push stereotypes hard. And there are certain things that the news is not going to show or promote. They're not going to show the good things about black people. They're going to always normally show the bad. And if you think about it, I believe part of myself, I believe a lot of the stuff that's covered on the news is all, it's also planned because the jail system is like an industry. It's like the fall of black communities means the fall of black men meaning more men that commit that more black men that commits more crime rate the crime rate is high uh the prison penitentiaries are making money and it's like a business if you don't have that much people committing crime then a lot of people are going to be out of a job. You're not going to need you're not going to have a need for uh, uh, security officers and prisons. You're not going to need uh, any lunch ladies that works in prisons. You're not going to need other people to work in the prison facility. There's not going to be no need because everybody is good. Nobody's going to prison. But if you think about it. Black stereotypes, it's always going to hurt other black people, innocent black people, innocent black people that are just trying to get themselves together. They they want nothing to do with with being uh, labeled a thug, a pookie or a ray ray. If you go on Google, go on Google, type in thug men. You're going to only see the black man, the black stereotype. You don't see Asians, whites, Hispanic you see what? Black men. And of course, I understand there's ignorance 
in every culture and every race. Ignorant is ignorant and, and ignorance is a mindset. Ignorance is a mindset. It, it's all on the individual. And there's some people that just don't know any better or they're just curious. There's homogenous countries. I get that. But I'm talking about in America. And I just have to cover this topic because I'm at work just doing my job, minding my business, doing my thing. Um, Just to cover my job, I'm, I'm an env environmental services cleaner right now. I work in a hospital. I'm... My my job today is just to go get by, clean some of the areas, clean the, the doctor's rooms, patient areas, etc. right? There was one area that I went to. I was at the surgical suit, and one of these areas, it's called uh, PACU or P-A-C-U. Um, there was a nurse. I don't know if she was a nurse or a doctor or not, right? I said, hey, how's it going? Good evening. I said, I introduced myself. I said, hello, she's black. Um, and for those of you who don't know, I'm black as well. <laughs> you know, just make it obvious. Now to continue with the story, I've, I was to the point where I was about to enter the female's locker room, right? For the nurses or the doctors, or like or basically all the staff, the staff people, okay? Within the hospital, right? I was within this area. I called out, um, you know, my introduction, uh, like, hey, environmental, environmental services, right? The nurse, the, the black female nurse, she quickly got up and she was like, oh, I forgot my um, my charger. I was like, OK. And she was like, oh, you, you could come in if you want to do your job. I was like, no, thank you. I've already had experience, bad experience in the past, and I don't want it to look like that we're doing something in the locker room. And it's not to be funny. Looking from the outside in, you have to think real. You have to be realistic. Certain things that looks a certain way, people could take it a certain way. <laughs> okay? If you get where I'm coming from. So, long story short, she said that she's forgetting her plug, she, her, her charger from the locker room, from the female's locker room. I'm like, okay, no problem. Take your time. As soon as she comes out, she has her whole handbag. And I'm thinking to myself, like, wow. She Did she think I was going to steal her bag? You could have simply said, I forgot my bag. It would have been different if you said, I forgot my bag. But why all of a sudden, when I'm coming... I'm about to clean the women's locker room. All of a sudden, I forgot my I, I forgot my plug. And you take your whole bag out and you don't realize how racist and stereotypical that looks. <laughs> Most of the time on TV, when you are in the news, who do you see most of the time committing robberies? Black people, black people, most of the time is what you see on TV committing robberies. And it's and it's the black man. It's not to be funny, but this is not the first time that I've been di disrespected and stereotyped like this. This goes to show you how close-minded and ignorant and socially doctrined so many people are because of the media. My wife even gets tired of it whenever she goes on Netflix to look for a TV show. You always see the black stereotype. The, there's always black movies with the black man being a thug. Most of the time, most cases, it's a slave movie. It's never anything about black excellence like... We're not just basketball players. We're not just uh, drug dealers. There's drug dealers in every race. The word thug originally came from India. A lot of people probably didn't know that, right? A lot of people 
I bet you did not know that. But this is goes to show you how America is. The black stereotype is not going to go away. You just have to carry yourself, stand out, do what you're supposed to do as a black individual to just do better. Even if the stereotypes comes around, there's a lot of people that don't know no better because I think about God first. I'm not here to get validation and prove my blackness like, oh, I'm not like any other black individual out here. I'm not like all the black dudes out here. I'm not a thug. I'm not a Pookie or Ray Ray. I, I don't got the time for that. That's your problem. That's your business. If you're judging me based off the color of my skin, then you're ignorant. And if you think about it, guys, I get tired of talking about this and it's just real sad and pathetic that no matter where you go, even if you carry yourself a certain way, some people are just not going to care and they're going to still see you as black and they're going to still be a lot of ignorance in the world. Sir, sure, everybody's not like this, but this is another reason why I'm very standoffish with people and I'm very cautious and I can't trust everybody like that 100%. I can't. The only one who I'm going to truly put my number one trust in is God at the end of the day. Black stereotypes, people need to take the time to realize and the thugs and the dudes that glorifies this lifestyle they don't realize they're also hurting themselves. And many of the times, it's not a good look for other black people who are just trying to get by and get themselves together. Black stereotypes is always going to hurt black people. This is Casual Talk here. Peace out. Let me know what you think.